What's going on guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new video and as you guys can see this is the long waited After Effects video about how to make the no copyright sound circle move in After Effects. In March, as, I, as you guys can see, almost four months ago I uploaded a video how to make it in Sony Vegas. Well, I received a lot of comments like, dude, how do you make it actually move in After Effects? So this video is about you know, how, like showing you how to make it move in After Effects. Now, I can already hear you guys like it looks like this is just uh, using a template and not creating itself well guys you should be happy that there is already a visualizer uh, made for you so it will save you a lot of time and i would say let's get started so actually we need a few things to get started we need four things to be able to make this video so the first thing that we need is a no copyright sounds visualizer that ncs logo a nice background and no copyright sounds music. So if you wanna get your hands on that, you can check out the description, but in this video, I'm gonna go, go and start from scratch. So what we're going to do is we are gonna to go to Google right now and we're gonna type in hell at night and we're gonna find a nice background that NCS would also use. So as you guys can see, this one looks very similar to a no copyright sounds background because NCS uses actually like a very cool and very uh, cinematic picture. So I'm gonna pick this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to save this one to the folder uh, of this video. And what we're going to do is I'm gonna call this photo. Then what we want to do is I'm going to go back to After Effects, but we also need the No Copyright Sounds logo without a background. So we also need that. So I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to look for the logo. So I'm going to type in No Copyright Sounds logo PNG. PNG stands for no background. And we need the logo without any background. So basically, as you guys can see, I'm just looking through pictures. Also, this photo is actually like without a background, as you guys can see, it is nice and big. It is nice quality. It doesn't have any background and that's exactly what we need. So I'm also going to save this one, right click, save as in the folder. I'm gonna call this NCS logo. Boom, save this one. And I would say we're gonna go back to After Effects right now because now we are set on everything. So you can also find everything you need in the description you can find all the links there to free downloads you don't need to pay anything it's completely for free check out the description you can find all the links there so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag in our background as you guys can see so i just you know placed in the background i just downloaded as you guys can see very cool picture and this is also what no copyright sounds mostly uses but I'm, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add a little bit of brightness and contrast to it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to the top at the right and i'm going to type in brightness and contrast and i'm going to make the contrast a little bit like a little bit brighter uh, so it will actually look a little bit more professional, of course. Just mess around with those markers. And as you guys can see, it looks really good. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker, as you guys can see. Also very sweet. Then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to change the opacity a little bit. So I'm going to right click on this little arrow, as you guys can see. Then I'm going to pick that one and I'm going to pick opacity at the bottom. And I'm going to drag down the opacity a little bit. So as you guys can see, NCS uses also uh, like a nice picture, but the opacity is always a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna pick it. I'm just gonna put the opacity on 50%. That looks very good, guys. I'm gonna also drag in a old template. I, I mean, like a thumbnail of NCS. So what we're gonna do? What we're gonna use this for? We are going to use this picture to align everything. So I, so now we we can see where the circle and where the logo is. So it makes it a lot easier to position it where it should be. So I'm gonna also drag in the logo and I'm going to place it on my timeline right now. And as you guys can see, I'm just going to crop it. Um, to exactly where the NCS logo is so that we have the like the exact same position as NCS has This is just a little like a help trick so you can place it on the right position because because, because we're gonna remove this orange uh, Thumbnail afterwards, so I just want to make sure that you will align the, the NCS logo on the template one on the thumbnail one And now we can also align our circle on the right as you guys can see it makes it everything a lot easier speeds up a lot We have now the NCS logo on the perfect position. I removed um, the, the thumbnail as you guys can see and now we have a nice background the NCS logo and the only thing we need to add now is music and the visualizer itself and the awesome thing is that you don't need to make this visualizer itself it's going to save you hours of time but there is already a visualizer done for you so we're going to drag in that one also and we're going to place this one on the right and we're going to use that thumbnail of NCS just to align it to make it to have to put it on the perfect position but I'm going to do I'm going to uh, drag in uh, the thumbnail again as you guys can see 
so we can align our visualizer with the orange stroke. So I'm going to drag in uh, the actual visualizer. I'm going to put this one at the bottom. And what you want to do is, as you guys can see, if I put it on the top, it has like a black background. So to remove that, we're going to go to the top and we're going to look for a chroma key or color key. I'm going to put that to black. As you guys can see, just mess around a little bit with those markers until the black is gone. Boom. So that's basically how you do it. So now that we have our circle in there, you just want to align it. Uh, where, with the orange one, uh, which I'm going to do in a second. So as you guys can see, the next thing that we're going to type in uh, is a little bit brightness and contrast, just to make it a little bit like more powerful. And I would say this already looks like a like a freaking, as you guys can see, NCS video. It's just like a nice logo on the left, and then at the right, our visualizer that's moving. This looks like a legit NCS video, guys, but we made this ourselves. That's how awesome it is. So what we're going to do now is, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to include a little preview with the music, um, because as you guys can see, like in Sony Vegas back in March, uh, this was not moving at all. It was just a still picture from Google and right now This is the After Effects video that you guys all have waited for and asked for so in this video Of course, this is how to make it move on the music. Of course, I'm going to add in the music guys. Don't worry um, So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag in a song so that I will uh, Make sure to align the circle. So I'm gonna drag in the song uh, onto my timeline at the bottom as you guys can see so I will show you guys a preview of how it looks with the song um, Included so I would say this is a little preview of the song So that looks really awesome guys so with the entire song this is what we made so far with the end result enjoy When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
So here you have it guys, so that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video, make sure you just smash the like button down below for more videos, that was it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Just Alex Halford.